Thank you, Mr. Chair, members of the committee, and my friend, Vice Chair Brand. Uh, my name is Andy Wilkie uh, with Greater Mankato Growth, the Chamber of Commerce and Economic Development Organization, serving 900 members, including businesses, cities, counties, colleges, universities, and our local school district. Thank you for the opportunity to testify today. Greater Mankato is a growing dynamic Greater Minnesota Metro hub with a large trade area, including 22 counties in Southern Minnesota. A couple of highlights. Among all Greater Minnesota metros, Mankato has the highest rate of retail spending per capita. We are home to more than 25,000 college students, and we are the green seam. Agriculture is at the core of our economy. More soybeans are processed in Mankato than any other city in North America. To the proposal before us, all of our members sympathize with many of the goals of this legislation. However, they are very concerned about several elements in its current form. On its face, it represents a vast new multi-billion dollar program that imposes a new tax at a time when our state has an $18 billion surplus. It also imposes a significant administrative burden on all employers, large and small, private and public, many of which are small business owners who wear many hats just trying to survive each day. Further, and most important, this bill will further interfere with an employer's ability to tailor benefits that meet the unique needs of their workplace. A one-size-fits-all approach ignores the diverse needs of each employer across the state. Employers in Mankato are already meeting the moment, investing in their employees and in increased pay and benefits during what is the most challenging labor market since World War II, all while managing the highest level of inflation in my lifetime. Our members understand that the, um, their employees are the most valuable resource. They're doing everything they can to provide their employees with the benefits they can afford. As currently written, this bill will create an, a, an, an expanding snowball of taxes. In other committees, we've heard that our local government partners, cities, counties, schools, are facing yet another unfunded mandate that will likely, likely lead to increased property tax levies. The result? Business and property owners will get in hit with increased taxes, not just once on their payrolls, but an additional four or five times with increased property taxes. Minnesota has much to be proud of, but future success is not guaranteed. Adding burdens and barriers to employers could have negative unintended consequences on future growth. We urge you to work with business, industry, and all of your colleagues here in the House to improve this bill to avoid creating undue burdens for employers, especially small businesses. Thank you.